iPad for the recording. I've been a little concerned with the iPad over the sound quality, but I'm just going to go ahead and try it again today. So this is where we are. I'm going to end up this section. The Lord Jesus saying that the time had been fulfilled, that the kingdom of God was at hand, was upon us. And so how should we live then? How should you and I live uh, how should the world live since the kingdom of God, the reign of God that comes through the Holy Spirit, that comes through the word, that comes through the sacrament, that comes to save us from the coming judgment of God against wickedness and against the works of the devil? Uh, how should we live? Well, be repenting and be believing. That's what Jesus says. In English translation, it says, Repent and believe the gospel, but in the original Greek of the New Testament, which I think is essential to point out, uh, keep on repenting, keep on believing the gospel. And the gospel is the gospel of God. Uh, it's, it's a reference to what Jesus, what we talked about earlier in the week. What is the gospel of God? That the Lord Jesus Christ, God the Son, is the Son of Man. Uh, through whom righteousness, holiness, love, peace, goodness is reestablished in the world uh, by the Lord Jesus Christ on behalf of us, the people that God created to bear his image and likeness. And we believe that the Lord Jesus Christ accomplished this. He actually has done this, and so we believe that. And the Heavenly Father then accredits us, he accounts us as righteous, as incorporated into Jesus, and views us and treats us according to who Jesus is. That's the good news. But it involves repenting. It's not just believing it and then going on and living life any way we want. That's just not true. Repenting means simply changing your mind. Uh, thinking differently is the best word that I, the best way I know of, of, of describing at the lowest and easiest level what the Greek word repentance means. Thinking differently. Uh, and that involves a continual process of thinking what, God tells us to think and jettisoning those things that we tell ourselves to think or the world tells us to think or our flesh tells us to think or the devil tells us to think. We just throw those things out and we think the things God wants us to think. That's repenting. Uh, does it involve being sorrowful for our sins? Well, yeah, it does. <laughs> you know, of course we're sorrowful for our sins, but it's not... It's not just being sorry and doing nothing about it. It's being sorry and saying, well, I'm, I'm not going to continue to live that way, right? So that's, and that's a continual process. And believing the gospel. So we repent of what we've done wrong, but we don't count on repentance. We count on Jesus. So those two things go together. We repent we change our way of thinking and we adopt God's way of thinking, but we don't rely on that as anything righteous and good to offer to God. We count on the Lord Jesus Christ alone. May this wonderful news guide and direct us today and throughout the rest of our days. God bless you and God keep you in his word. Amen. <music>